selling items within our kitchen culinary team here at HSN. When it comes to a pressure cooker, Elite is number one. It is the most purchased pressure cooker here at HSN, whether it's the six quart, eight quart, 10 quart, 12 quart, and all its variations, it is always the top seller. Today, we're featuring the eight quart. One of the things I love about a pressure cooker is that we all, let's be honest, we love the slow cooker. It cooks slow, but it cooks all day, but the food tastes incredible, right? Well, who has all day to wait for it to cook? I don't have all day. You most likely don't have all day. That's why we only do it on one day, which is Sunday, right? Well, now with a pressure cooker, it cooks in a fraction of the time and the food is tastier, more fall off the bone for your meats, for your ribs, for your roast, for chicken. It is mouthwatering good. And it utilizes that steam at a high pressure to cook everything and infuse it with flavor and moisture. What we're offering is the A quart. We have it in the red and we have it in the black. You're going to get the insert. This is all nonstick, so nice and easy cleanup here. I just, I don't even put mine in the dishwasher because I use it all the time. I literally just use it the other day because I made, actually yesterday, I made a roast. Um, then you're also going to, so I just clean this in the kitchen sink nice and easy. Then you're going to get your glass lid. I appreciate this because if you're entertaining, it's nice to be able to take this right in here and instead of having the lid on it, which everybody would then have to pick up and take off, you can use it as a buffet server as well, which is genius. Not every pressure cooker includes a glass lid. So this is a nice little extra. You're getting your measuring cup, you're getting your serving spoon, and you're getting your rack if you want to be able to make any kind of roast or anything like that, that comes included. Also great to put a piece of fish on there, put a little lemon underneath, wonderful. You get the cookbook as well. Coming included, it has 64 recipes in the cookbook for $99.95. Such an unbelievable value. It has reduced shipping and handling. Come on over here, I'm gonna join Kelly Diedring. Um, it has that reduced shipping and handling and five flexible payments of $19.99. This is, Look at this. in my opinion, my most used appliance yes. in my kitchen. I cook in my pressure cooker all year long. I do too. Why? Because the food tastes incredible and it cooks in a fraction of the time. It, it does. And everything's fall apart, fall off the bone. It's the right. best tenderizer for proteins. Uh, if you have any kind of a tough piece of meat or ribs or anything like that. I mean, you can see I just pulled the bone out of that, you know, rib. This is too two full racks of ribs. When's the last time you were able to cook two full racks of ribs right. at once, right? Without having to stop and start and do it again. And all two racks of ribs done inside my pressure cooker, not in 12 hours, not in 15 hours. I didn't right. wake up at two in the morning to set my big green machine. <laughs> It took me 45 minutes for two wow. racks of ribs. For two, two, what would it traditionally take? So traditionally in an oven, several hours, but if you're my husband and you do that smoking thing that takes like 20 hours, right? right? So it depends on how you were gonna cook them. But you can see the meat literally just peeling off of these. And then I'm gonna use my hands. Look at the bones. I mean, your dog's gonna be really upset yeah. with you. Because finger licking good. Finger licking good. And right. it is just the best way to do big mm -hmm. hunks of meat, you know? And you're gonna do it quickly. This one though, I love because totally built-in computer. You don't even have to know how to use a pressure cooker. Maybe this is your first pressure cooker. If it is, congratulations, you're getting like the primo, right? You have all the 16 built-in, so you can see soups and stews and fish and rice and poultry, beef, vegetables, dessert. But then on the outside, we have a delay timer, which means I can set this to come on tomorrow if For I want 24 to. Hour 24 delay. hours. I can steam, simmer, and saute. That's a huge feature. If you wanted to caramelize an onion before you did it, or if you wanted to brown your beef inside here. I do cinnamon apples. Cinnamon with apples. cinnamon sticks. Oh, I'm coming over. And then over. the homemade ice cream. Oh, coming over. <laughs> All right, there's a slow cook button. That's where you want to use that glass lid that Robin was talking about that comes free. That's a freebie. That's never included in a pressure cooker, at least that I know of. Okay, canning and preserving. There are pressure canners that are $300. Just do cans. This I'm is get into canning. I know, canning is actually really quite cool. And then you can see you have your own pressure cook time if you want to go up or down on the time because okay. you know a certain recipe. That's my ribs, something you're going to do all summer long, right? I mean, that's 
that's a very summertime yeah. uh, treat. But then you gotta have mac and cheese with the ribs, right? Or you're just not doing something right. Mac and cheese and ribs a and summer barbecue. I yeah. know. Look at how much though. So if you were to price out a pressure cooker right now, you're probably gonna look at something called a something pot, and it's gonna be $170, and it's gonna be a six quart. Right. We're talking $100 for an eight quart. It's a crazy price. And the reason is Elite Bistro is the number one selling pressure cooker here at HSN. Mm -hmm. So HSN has this massive buying power where we can bring these in and pass that discount along to you, right? And it is all the safety features that you would want in a pressure cooker. So maybe you're thinking, yeah, it's my first pressure cooker. I've always avoided them because I've always been a little nervous around them. This is not grandma's pressure cooker, right? No, first this doesn't of all, rattle off the it, stove. Yeah, this is not the stovetop version that makes the noise right. and has the little thing that makes noise, you know. That's not what you're talking about. This one just plugs in. You can plug it in anywhere you go. And you have all the safety features, like when it's under pressure, you can't get the lid off. You'll hear it beep when it's under pressure. Mm -hmm. There's no way to mess it up. I mean, yeah, lots of safety features. Lots of safety in. features, and you don't even hear them. They're not noisy. They're not right. scary. You can see the insert on ours I'm is I'm not going to double dip. This is a clean spoon. So everybody's like, uh-huh. <laughs> Look at our insert. So this insert comes out. Our eight-quart insert wow. comes out. That is so amazing. Isn't it delicious? And it melts the cheese perfectly. And no preservatives again. Yeah, and you control. And the box of cheese. You completely Ooh. control. Is that even cheese? Yeah, this? Oh, or no, in no, the no. box? No, 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 in the box that we Don't buy. Don't even get me started, I mean, my this friend. is so much more flavorful. And look at how cheesy, how ooey, how gooey. By the way, these are just the macaroni noodles, and it takes nine minutes to get those softened. And then nine you, minutes. Nine minutes for eight quarts of mac and cheese, and then you put your cheese in for 11, uh, for two more minutes. So a total of 11 minutes to eight quarts of mac and cheese. If you were doing this on your stove top, it wouldn't even be to a rolling boil yeah. to get your noodles in by the time you're right. physically done. So if you are bringing this to church and maybe you're cooking for yeah, large potluck, potlucks, work events, maybe it's the kids' soccer team or whatever the reason is you need to feed 30 people, right. this is the size to do it. But when you want to just put a single chicken breast in there, you can. Mm -hmm. So I always say you want to go big before going small because now you have the capacity, right? You have that eight quart capacity, right. which is different than the marketplace. The marketplace is selling a six quart for about 150 bucks on average. Wow. You're getting an eight quart for $100. This is how easy it can be. It can be sophisticated as you want, or it can be super simple. Okay, okay. frozen chicken breasts, pop those in there. And listen, frozen. From frozen. I am the worst when I get home you from forget. work, yep. and then I'm like, what are we having for dinner? Yes. And then it's frozen, and then I'd always, we go through order pizza, or yep. go through the drive-thru. You don't have to do that anymore because you could put frozen meats in here. And this is two ingredients. That was four frozen chicken breasts, but it could have been one, it could have been six, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't matter. It's going to all take the same amount of time, which is really cool. And then it was a jar of salsa. Whatever your favorite salsa. You don't salsa. put any liquid or anything? No, that, 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 that's the liquid, liquid enough. The, yeah. Oh, wow. If you wanted to add like a chicken broth or a stock, certainly, yeah. be my guest. It's not necessary. You, that's enough liquid. And then what's so great about Elite Bistro is they actually put, like I said, if it's your first time using a pressure cooker, you can't mess it up. Two ingredients, you need a liquid and whatever else, a veg or a protein. Mm -hmm. And then you pop it on and then open to close. Let me do that again. And you'll hear it beep which is another safety feature. See, it's open. I just twist it to close. And when you hear it close, it beeps. That's huge. Now I know, okay, it's definitely closed, right? It can come to pressure. And then you pick from one of our presets. Now, if you happen to know something takes 18 minutes, go for it. Program in 18 minutes. It's all customizable. Um, but when you know that you're just doing chicken, all you have to do is take that menu and it's gonna scroll around the outside. I'm gonna twist it so I'm not reading backwards. Okay, poultry. Can you see that? Poultry and it's coming to pressure and you can see it says 20 minutes from frozen chicken breast and then I'm gonna hit the start button. It would button. take 20 minutes just for it to thaw if you were lucky. Oh, if you were lucky. If you were lucky. Now Robin made a great point in that she gets home, she's hungry, right? right. But we forgot to thaw the, the meat. We the forgot meat. to thaw the steak right. or the pork or the chicken or the shrimp. Doesn't matter in a pressure mm -hmm. cooker. Take a whole bag of frozen meatballs, take a whole bag of frozen shrimp, take a couple of frozen pork chops, totally from frozen, 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I could not be more of a fan of pressure cooking. And a lot of times people think pressure cooking is for cold weather. It's not, it's all season long. Oh, for sure. I love to make spaghetti in here. I do my meat in here. I do my frozen meat. I cook that first. I eat from my, I love to, well, I don't love, but I have a, a small, very small, let me say, yep. uh, herb garden. Oh, cool. And I will take all my fresh herbs, fresh herbs rock in a pressure cooker. Oh, yeah, because so you just throw them right on top of the yep. meat, cook the meat, then I take 
take the lid off, I throw the pasta in, yep. and honestly, I think the pasta even tastes better. better. Don't you think? Yeah, it when does. it's infused, infused with, the with the sauce the, and well, the and meat. She mentioned herbs, and you just need a tiny amount. So yeah. with a pressure cooker, you're even going to save there because you don't need very much. Because when your food comes to pressure, there's nowhere for the moisture and the evaporation to go. Right? We've talked a lot about right. evaporation over the last couple of hours, and okay. when things evaporate, that's moisture leaving your food, obviously, but that's also nutrition and flavor because flavor is nutrition. Same thing. That's leaving your food when things evaporate under pressure. That's sort of the concept behind a pressure cooker. Yep. It can't evaporate. So it, it pressurizes inside the pot it and it pushes it into the food, infuses right. it into the food yeah. so that every bite of chicken gets infused with the salsa so or the red sauce or the cilantro that came out of Robin's garden or the mm -hmm. basil or the oregano or whatever it is that you're seasoning with. Every last bite is going to have a more impactful flavor. A couple yeah. of years ago, Suzanne Runyon said, it's like eating in Technicolor. And I was like, what a great way mm. to describe it. Because yeah. it's a different kind of flavor. It's flavors you've never tasted because they never existed until we started pressure cooking. To, I mean, honestly, and it could not be easier. If you are not someone who even loves to cook, if you're like, I'm watching this, I'm intrigued, so I'm sitting here listening to the two of you. Yeah. Um, but you're like, yeah, I really, I don't like all the fuss. I don't like all the muss. I want you to try this. Because all you do is throw in all the ingredients and put the lid on and push one button. Yep. Set it and forget it and walk away. How many times do we get distracted and we walk away from our stirring pot where you need to stir and flip and turn yep. and baste and oh, for the love of land. You don't have to do any of that anymore. The unit does the work for you. The pressure cooker does the work. And now you can even can with it. Which is crazy. So I, I've actually sold here at HSN, it's been mm -hmm. several years now, a pressure canner that was $300 and it was a great machine, but it yeah. just canned. It didn't do my, yeah. my beef stew. I've and never it. canned anything. Is it? I'm afraid. It's I so think like it's easy to do. Okay. And the guide that comes included. I know. Um, I don't. Yeah, I we'll thought grab, that we'll this was, up. and it's actually no, has is a canning times. Oh. inside the guide but there's okay. a pressure there's actually canning button so anything that's a standard unless you're doing something specialty you hit canning and oh. then it, it pressure cans for you that button's right down front down that's the a brand there it is. new button yeah yep, I see it. and all you do is press it you put you know oh, your preserves maybe you're doing jams or jellies or salsas certain things must be canned under pressure if you're doing meats or like you can see we did our ho our bread and butter pickles mm -hmm. that came out of the garden you can see we did our pearl onions and our carrots whatever it is that you're doing and you're canning, you can now can it. And this is a small batch canning. Yeah. That's a four. I, I want, I, but it's I, better than spending all day boiling that water, is waiting that what for the. Yes, that's what uh. you do. You get the big pot, you boil the water, you wait for it all to do. Then you gotta stop, find somewhere to put the boiling water by the time you go to the next round. Right. Most people, if you're a canner, you know what I'm talking about. It's cumbersome, it's an all day event. Now right. you can can in like 30 minutes. But it's multifunctional yeah. because it's everything built in. And you know, and a lot of you, I always say we love those slow cooked meals, but they take all day. They yeah. take eight to ten hours yep. for everything to cook and to really infuse those flavors this is doing it under pressure so this allows you to cook faster it your food is tastier um, you can buy less expensive meats because the the way it's under pressure Good it breaks point. them down. down so you're going to save your family money and save your budget but the family is going to be just as happy if not more because it's more flavorful and more tasty yep. now there you can see the 16 pre sets. This is so easy. I, I mean, I just leave it sitting out because I use it all the time. But with the five flexible payments of $19.99, black or red are your two options. I want to make sure I don't mislead anyone. And when I first introduced this item, I said there are 27 recipes which are accurate. But I thought this was the recipe book. No, this is the, uh, the additional purchase of the cookbook. So I just want to make sure I would never, ever, ever want to mislead you. So my point is, here is the item number for the cookbook. If if you want the cookbook, really quick, I know Kelly's, I don't want anyone to miss that either because that looks stunning. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm going to wait for uh, you, Okay, girl. you wait. I'm okay. just going to show everybody. <laughs> Here's the cookbook. That is 467-000 for the cookbook. It was sitting here in the beginning, so I apologize. I thought it came with. That is just an additional purchase. It's a that great is a, book, though, too. It's a great book. Definitely ask yep. about that. It'll give you lots of great recipes. Um, so I just gave you the item number on that. Now, what you're going to get included is your pressure cooker guide. Yeah, and that it has in, recipes. Yes, yeah. that's what I was just going to clarify. Yep. This has recipes inside. So that's what I was talking about, the 27 recipes. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure nobody's confused and get it at home and go, well, Robin said. So there you go. Okay, let's go back over. 
over to Kelly because I want you to be able to see what comes out of this because it's all about the taste and the flavor of the food. Oh, you guys, and the timing. We're talking 60 to 75% faster than any traditional way of cooking, whether it's stovetop or oven cooking. And I say 60 to 75% because it depends on what you're cooking, how much right. time you're going to save. But this is a full New England clab, clam, clam bake, bake, seafood boil, whatever you want to call it. You can see we have beautiful snow crab. We have a ton of corn. We have all the beautiful potatoes uh, that you could ever want. And then there's shrimp down here. There's like two pounds of shrimp. Kelly, can I ask you, do you have to put, do you put that all in together or do you cook all together. the legs first? All together. No, okay, all together. Look at that potato. It's super hot, but I want to show you, it literally bursts open. I mean, it couldn't get any more decadent. And if you want to talk about a time savings, this was five minutes in my pressure cooker. Yeah. And I five can, minutes. Five minutes and a couple ways you could do it. You could okay. steam it and you can use the glass lid for steaming. Okay. Or you can put it under pressure and use the seafood button. Wow. And can we show the lid rest? Because I want to say my yeah, pressure cool. cooker, and, and I know this is silly and you're going for 99 and 5, do we even care about the yeah, lid rest? But we have all these you, cool features. You do. You do. <laughs> you do. Because mine does not have a lid and rest. And you got to put your lid on the counter and it drips. And then it drips everywhere. So this has a lid rest on both sides. This is sides. so well thought out. Whether you're a righty or a lefty, depending on what, which side you're working in your pot, yeah. it actually sits on either side. That's what that's for. A lot of people get at home and say, well, what's that for? That's your lid rest. Here's another yeah. good point. I'm, okay. I'm glad you brought up the little things because Elite Bistro, we are so good at doing these little things. Oh. Look, does yours do this? No. When did you get yours? Got yourself years Mine is ago? really old. Yeah. I told you, well, but I still but they love last, it. But they, they last do. forever. This pops out. Now, if you buy the other one, the, the pot one that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. they try and sell you extra rings because rings. they're hard to clean. Typically, they're hard to clean yeah. and therefore sometimes they hold odors. We change the game. You just pop yours oh, out and you can nice. just dishwash it. So you don't, we're not asking you to buy an extra ring. All you need to do is clean this ring. But every pressure cooker has one of these yes. rings, but they're yes. usually affixed to the top. They're very difficult to remove. They're very difficult to insert and they're very difficult to keep clean. Not anymore. Elite Bistro said, let's fix that. So ours pops nice. on and off. So you can dishwash that. You can actually dishwash everything except for the actual, you know, pressure bottom itself. This is dishwasher safe. This is that stock pot. Mm -hmm. If you priced out an eight quart stock pot, you're talking $50, $60 That's for a non-stick stock you're right. just a stock pot. Mm -hmm. so you're getting the whole pressure cooker with 16 built-in functions, all the features. This, this is has cool measurements too. built on the It side. has measurements on the inside. And then did yours have the little? Yes, mine okay, does The have condensation that. collector is cool because pressure cookers naturally have that moisture. And typically with other brands, it'll drip all over your countertop. Not a big deal, but it's extra cleanup, right? Ours drips into here, so all you have to do is dump that in your sink. Right. So little things make a big difference, especially if it's your first pressure cooker, cooker purchase. Yes. But we talk to people who own every size we've ever done. Yes. I've talked to people that bought our two quart, our four quart, our six quart, our eight quart, and they use it for all different things and they yeah. they feel that they need it all those different sizes. I, I'm just telling you it's the bomb. It really is. It really is. And I can't say enough great things about a pressure cooker. Um, obviously because I own a pressure cooker, I do not have this model in particular, mm -hmm. but I feel like when you get it at home and you start cooking in it and you realize how fast it is, yes. how flavorful the meals are you are a winner no matter what you do in this pressure cooker don't you feel like I don't feel you like you, it up. you can't mess yes, it up yes I, agree. I feel like if you're someone who goes you know like Helen and I joke because we're great friends and it's so funny she'll call me and she'll be like well, Robin what should I do what should I put with this what should I cook and I'm like Helen just throw it all in the pressure cooker. oh in the pressure cooker? like you just yeah. can't you can't for mess better, it up. for lack of a better word, screw it up. You can't. You just can't. Look I mean that it's lasagna. that simple. So that lasagna and I, I mean it's, I swear by this, seven right. minutes. Seven, seven minutes. minutes. I've not made lasagna I know. In Okay, here. so I never really thought of a pressure cooker as a casserole maker. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that, okay. but yes. But yes, so your green bean casserole, your scalloped potato casserole, your Southwest quinoa casserole, it mm. makes the best casseroles because of the pressure, it makes them moist. You don't have the crunchy edges that everybody avoids, and it's right. faster. Now, you still want to let it rest like you would a traditional lasagna. Okay. Obviously, you're going to let it rest for 10 or 15 minutes, but seven minutes under pressure with the no-bake noodles. So you layer your no-bake noodles, you do your beef or your veg, you do your cottage cheese mixture with the egg. Then you do your second wow. layer. Same way, seven minutes under pressure, let it rest. You have the most beautiful lasagna. And then you can take your glass lid that's coming as a freebie. I mean, normally, you know. You pay extra. You pay extra or you don't get it at all. And you can Look take that, that either leftovers into the fridge or table side, and it can be your buffet server so that people can see how beautiful it is. Yeah, I do mashed potatoes in mine oh, as well. great for mashed potatoes. Yes, and I said to Kelly, ask me what's the number one thing I make in my pressure cooker. You're never we're gonna guess.
eggs. Oh, yes, I do your hard my egg. hard That's boiled right. eggs. And you know what? Actually, I don't do it. I'm going to be completely upfront. My husband does it. Patrick? Yeah, Patrick does it. Yes, I'm going to call him Patrick. Oh, oh no. <laughs> but my husband, Patrick, does it. And he's so funny because he's like the smell with eggs. Like, he just does it on the patio. <laughs> Isn't Wait, the, the smell. Oh, he doesn't the smell, like he the doesn't smell. like the smell. Of Got these. it. So he takes this onto the porch. I love that though. And, take and it wherever. Yeah, you could take it wherever you want. He plugs it in outside, and that's to that point is it's great if you do have an RV. If you're someone who's going to do ribs in here and you're tailgating, football season. I mean, think of all the fun, wonderful things. Right now we're into baseball. Right now we're into hockey. Yep. Um, these are things that even if you're having company or entertaining. As a chef, as, and I'm not even a chef, but I'm just saying if you're the chef of your home, um, if you're the cook of your home, you're the person who does a bulk of it, mm -hmm. this is a lifesaver and how time. much it saves and you. And it saves money. If you're smart about it, you buy the less expensive cuts of meat and right. nobody will be any the wiser. You could feed an army on a couple bucks, right. really, on the, you know, I'll say the word cheaper, on the cheaper cut of meat if you get from the, the butcher because yeah. it actually this tenderizes the pot roast. This is my favorite meal. Pot roast. Oh, a pot it roast in a pressure cooker. Now, this is fork tender. You don't even need to slice this, right? Oh. It falls apart when you look at it. That is what we're talking about when we talk about cooking under pressure. And if you're thinking, yeah, but this is for TV. There, is it really that easy? Get it home yes. and try it. I love HSN's return policy. They make it so easy for you. If you really don't believe us, try it, prove us wrong or prove us right, and get it home and, and you know, and, and test a few things. Test I mean, some of the recipes. Maybe you pick up the, the guide or do one of the yeah. free recipes that comes included. And all your root vegetables, all happen at the same time so you just need a starter liquid like a broth for you know for this one or you could even do a can of soup I mean you could do like a cream of mushroom or any liquid will do any liquid that you like the flavor of like my husband will do chicken breast in like a vinaigrette salad dressing oh. because you get those flavors are like just the moho you can get a big old thing of moho for like 99 cents with yeah. the citrus my and favorite's broth. broth I mean I always do broth like a bone broth or a yep. vegetable broth yep. chicken yep. broth you can and do then I'll just stock. season it with like herbs yep. um, things like that um, I mean it honestly could not it's just I cannot. It's easy. It's so easy. And then this, have we talked about the rack? We did Comes, a little bit. Yeah, talk so about the rack. Big deal, too. All the things that come included are typically things you would buy extra with other brands of pressure okay. cooker. So if you're watching us today, you're getting a really, really good value. This comes included if you're doing something that you want to keep up and out of the juice. Maybe it is something you don't want to sit and soak in the juice. Or if you have a springform pan, you can bake on top of this mm -hmm. rack as well. This is freebie. We're adding it in. It's included. So you're if getting... You so if I just, just to talk about this rack, because yes. you were just talking yes. about that. If I was doing like a chicken. Yeah, you could do a whole like chicken. Like a beer chicken, like you could do. Chicken, yeah, beer can right chicken, right on the rack. Yeah. If it's something you don't want sitting in, in the moisture, which is okay. quite a few fish. things. I chicken, said fish. fish would be a good one. I was nervous to try fish, actually. I did salmon, and, and everybody like was like. Minutes. Yeah, but you know, I took lemons, and I sliced the lemons and layered the whole bottom oh, with lemons. And then amazing. I took a little parsley, and then I took um, like a white wine, and I put that put in that with in the lemons, there. and it infused the fish. Stop it. I, it was done in like five minutes. I know. It's and my terrible. husband's like, this is the best fish I've ever tasted. It is because of the way that the pressure. And I feel guilty saying I did it. Why? Because he thinks it's like the best fish he's ever had and I did it. Like, <laughs> like I feel guilty. Like, I'm like, I feel like a commercial for like, no, but my machine did it. Like, you know, I mean, but that's how great it that's is. Like, it makes the people that don't, maybe aren't great in the kitchen, right. amazing in the kitchen. And it makes people that are amazing in the kitchen, like, holy cow, superstars. Holy cow. Yeah, Look, what have I been missing this great. whole time? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. These are cool. Oh, there you so go. This, did you say you do Yeah, I do this too. Yeah. Do you do pears are really great yeah, too. Pears. I do them whole and I core them with the Wolfgang core thing that, that with, we sell. With the cinnamon. Yeah. And then do I have ice cream? Do you have whipped cream oh or ice cream? Ice cream. Maker. Yeah. And then let me find a knife. And then, so this you know one why is. why I love things like this is because I get so tired of going out. You know, it's yeah. just like I get tired of spending so much money. And then you go out and you're disappointed. The yep. food isn't good. You get a stomach ache. You go home. And it's just like, why did I go spend all that money for something that made me sick? Yeah. I like to be at home with my family, and it's this true. allows you to do it. It's true, though. And this was five minutes, and you can see the caramel and the cinnamon all mm. melty, ooey gooey. And then we put it right over the ice cream the vanilla ice cream on the inside. You can do it with pears. And then I like the liquid. I like to use like a brandy or a mm -hmm. port or like a nice dessert wine. Yeah. Or if you don't drink, it could be like an apple juice or something yeah. sweet. My favorite dessert, and I'm going to share it because it's summertime okay. now. You take a whole pineapple and you just shave off the skin, right? Okay. So you still have that I'm whole trying, pineapple. I'm trying, so I'm listening. Yes. And then you take um, the pineapple, you put it inside the pressure cooker, and you take like a cup and a half, two cups of your favorite rum. Okay. That's your liquid. It infuses all the 
pour them into the pineapple and then it's hot and melty and then you shave the pineapple over vanilla ice cream because it's like rum infused. You have infused. to tell that to Shannon. Shannon made infused vodka once. Oh yeah, I love infused vodka. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm, I'm telling with you, that's Shannon. Shannon Smith. She is, she, she makes her really own bone cook. broth for Yeah, she is amazing woman. in yes, the kitchen. She is. Um, are we able, George, just to kind of go down the table to show everything that came out of this pressure cooker? Because I want you to understand from fish to meat to chicken, if you're a vegetarian, oh, I mean, you can do so many things from brunch to lunch yep. to breakfast to dinner. Out of order there, but all good in any category. Look at this. So that, Walk us through. Yeah, so what you're seeing now is the lasagna and the seafood. The lasagna was seven minutes. That seafood was five minutes. I mean, that would feed 20 people five easily. Five minutes. Okay, then we're moving on to our to canning. All the canning. Yeah, I mean, you can actually do the canning mm -hmm. inside the pressure cooker. It's also a pressure canner. There's a canning button. Then we did our, our shredded chicken, and that was from frozen. Taco Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays from frozen in 20 minutes. This one we loaded, right? And I'm going to uh, oh. release the pressure. Okay. And just tell you, so you, that's the only noise you'll hear. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's just When you like, release oh. the pressure, that, you're going to hear the pressure. That's it. And it won't open and until it's the pressure's all released. released. Exactly. Okay, then we There's had that mac and cheese. Valve. Oh, then we had the most ooey gooey, decadent, beautiful mac and cheese that I'm going to have for lunch and right after. And then ribs. And then we had two full racks of ribs. Two full racks. Two full racks of ribs in 45 minutes. So eight quart, you get the rack, you get the extra lid, you get everything you needed to get started. $99.95, $20 off, free, or no, reduced shipping, right, Dan? Reduced shipping. 